It is so cold today. It is so cold today. It is negative 16 degrees outside here in Chicago. That, well, that's disgusting. You know what? It is the coldest day since 1983. Can you believe that? That is cold. It is actually warmer, get this, on the surface of Mars than it is here in Chicago today. They're actually lighting the train tracks on fire so that they could keep moving. That's crazy. So needless to say, we're stuck in the house today. So I figured, why don't we just do a painting? Makes a lot of sense to me, right? But what are we gonna paint? Something frigid, something cool, something cold. That's what I'm thinking. Why don't we figure it out when we get there? All right, come on. Oh. Welcome back. And you know what? Thank you for deciding to spend a few minutes of your day with me. I really appreciate it. And if you're from where I'm from, I hope you're staying warm because it is cold out there. And because it's cold, I decided it put me in the mood to paint a little winter scene. So that's what we're going to do today. A little mountain, a little winter. It's cold outside. It's going to be cold in this painting too. Let's get to it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our sky, work our way down, you know, par for the course kind of thing. All right. So two inch brush. We're going to start with some blue we're using today. We're using an ultramarine blue. Now we're going to start the sky just like we normally do. We're going to do these crisscross strokes. Remember this? We want it to be nice and dark at the top as we work our way down. We want that white, that primed canvas. You know, we kind of always prime our canvas before we do it. We want to pull that down so it's nice and light as it starts to work its way downward. See that? Nice and light as it works its way downward. We want to come down, of course, to about the middle of the canvas. Making sure that we're lightening it along the way. Don't press too hard. Again, same old, same old. All right, see that? We want it to be uneven, inconsistent sky. All right, we're kind of create those clouds in the background. We're going to say it again, organically. All right, see that? We're pulling it down somewhere around right here. Now, I wanted to show you this. So, we may have gone through this before, we may have not, but sometimes when you're painting, you could catch some dry spots. This might happen to you if you follow along with me. You might catch some dry spots. If that happens, feel free to grab just a very, very little bit of white. You do not need a lot here. A very little bit of white. You see that? Very little bit. And you can sort of use that to pull this color together, make it nice and smoky, foggy. Right, smooth the color out a little. Right, see that? Smoothing it out a little. All right, and then when we're done with our sky, we pull it together, something like so. Let's add a little bit more white here. Something like so. We want those clouds to kind of happen organically. All right, so uh, let's pull some water in here, right? It's going to be a nice... Um, frozen lake situation, I think. Let's do that. I always like those. Again, like we've done before, we want to pull from the sides, working our way in toward the middle, but we don't want to catch the whole middle. All right, we want to pull it in, make it inconsistent. Again, this is a perfect example that if you want it to be a little bit more blended, if it starts to dry out on you, pull in a little bit of white with it. It's perfect. Okay, so you know, sometimes we'll put some liquid white on there if you're doing oils or use some gesso if you're doing acrylics. But before we get to the painting, sometimes it can dry out on us. It happens. Depends on the weather. It's really cold outside, so that's going to take into account whether it's drying quickly or not, right? right? See how I'm pulling it through? See that? It's very light, very airy. Right, let's do a little bit on the other side here. We'll grab a little bit more. Pulling it in, see that? Remember, we want to leave a little bit of space in the middle. Leave a little bit of space in the middle. It's going to get nice and cool as it works its way up, but we don't want it to be too connected there. All right, again, grab a little bit of white. Pulling it in. Get it nice and thin, nice and mixed. Let's see that? Nice and thin. Look at that. I like that. Okay, 
and then just in the middle, kind of lightly pulling it together, making sure that you're maintaining some of that middle. All right, it's gonna right through the middle there. Okay. All right, we don't want to waste any time, right? We want to do this pretty quickly. We only got a few minutes to do this. I don't want to waste too much of your time. So let's pull some clouds out of the top. Now, I'm going to put my two inch brush down. I'm going to grab my one inch brush now. This one right here. Or you know what? Let's grab this one. I like this one for clouds. This one right here. And with these clouds, we're just going to, I don't know, kind of go random with it, right? If you're following along with me at home, don't put too much sort of precision into what you're doing. So we're going to use the corner of the brush and we're just going to sort of roll them in, right? These are rolling clouds. They kind of roll their way this way. Right? Oh, I don't know. They kind of roll up here a little bit. There's some down there. And they rolled in this way. And the beauty of clouds is they're meant to be inconsistent. Right? Some parts are going to be a little bit whiter, some parts are going to be a little bit darker. Right? You kind of play around with it. Maybe it kind of rolls its way. Maybe there's one that rolls its out here. I don't know. And there's a wispy one somewhere in here. Sure, why not? Right? This guy, maybe there's. Really fluff them up too. Why not? Why not? Now let's maybe put, let's double these up. Maybe there's one that lives right up, right below that one. Or I should say in front of it, right? We want to create a little bit of perspective. I'm just kind of rolling it in. Right. Now I'm going to show you a trick after I sort of put these in to distinguish between the two. Maybe it kind of rolls this way. Yeah, I don't know. Even it out here a little bit, right? You see that? Evening it out a little bit. There's one over here. Mm. You know, sometimes it helps to just kind of take a step back and look at it from a different perspective, right? You can kind of see the whole image. We're standing this close to it. It's a little tough, right? But for here, okay, so today we're going to use two different types of paint. We're going to use soft body hard body, right? And, and when we had a landscape painting before, we did the same thing where we used a hard body and a soft body. If you've watched previous videos, what a good thing about the difference between the two and using them in the same painting is a hard body will always, always, always stick to a soft body. So when we're doing these, I could take that soft body and just kind of fluff it right on the top, add a nice little texture to it, right? Can you see that? Right, just adding it in, laying it kind of on top. And it helps put a little perspective into the painting. See, I'm just kind of tapping it in. I'm not really, I'm not really brushing it. We're just tapping it. So it sort of adds a little bit of depth to the top. Here, I'll show you here. This is this, so this one's a lighter one, so I can kind of show you a bit easier. Right, so you tap it in just slightly. Brush a little bit of that off, right? And then I can kind of drop it a little. Right, see how it just kind of fades away, but it's a little bit brighter at the top. Oh, we like that, that's nice. And this one kind of cuts this way a little bit. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that! Right, see that? Something in there like that. Ah, sure. Why not, right? All right, let's put that, that to the side. You know, an urban winter scene or a city winter scene is just harsh, right? There's a lot of buildings, it's a lot of cold, frigid ridges, a lot of edges. I like nature though. Let's, so let's do something a little bit more with nature. Let's do, um, we'll do some mountains kind of in the background. Let's do that. Now, with these mountains, well, let's do, um, Maybe we'll do two sets, and and when we're talking about perspective, what we want to make sure is we're pulling things forward so we have depth, or sort of a depth of field, if you will. Now, when it comes to mountains, if you're going to layer them, what we want to do is make sure that the ones in the back are actually lighter than the ones in the front. Something about light that as something comes forward, the it 
sort of gets it gets darker in its hue. Okay, so let's start with um, here. Let's grab our. We're gonna grab our sort of. This is a 30. So it's a mega brush, but it's a 30, right? You see that? But this one's a little bit different. We're gonna use today for the for the base of the mountains a synthetic brush. Okay. And what we were just using here for the backgrounds and the clouds to, or um, natural bristles. So we want to use a synthetic here. And uh, let's make um, uh, let's make a little bit of a purple color, right? We'll grab a little bit of this red here. Pull it into a little bit of the blue. I'm gonna pull it over here so you can see it a little bit. Right, a little bit of a purple hue, but we want it to be more, I would say, on the blue side for this one. Right? Let's add, let's lighten it up a little bit so we get really cold. Really cold feeling. Like oh, I like that color. That's a good color. Okay, um, let's start it here. Now, when you're using a soft body paint, we could use, technically we could use a knife for this, but we're not going to. We want to use a brush for this one, just so we can kind of get the base of them. When you're doing this, you kind of want to keep it all in one direction, right? So it, maybe it cuts this way. And if you're going to cut it, you want to keep the angle of the brush. You see that? How it kind of cuts like that. Right? Always keeping the same angle, because we can even cut it up and then back down, right? But we can always keep, maybe this one kind of cuts this way. You see what I mean? Maybe like that, right? Maybe there's another one that kind of lives like this. See that? Maybe there's one that cuts like this, and there's another taller one, kind of lives like that. Maybe it cuts off the side here, sure. Why not? Ah! We'll kind of pull it together. See, now with these, what we want to do is we want them to be kind of smoky or foggy at the bottom, especially if we're going to layer them. Now, I have a pretty significant amount of paint on my brush, but I don't want that on there when I try to make it foggy, so I'm going to clean it off. Now, the reason I did, I'm cleaning this one off and I didn't clean our natural bristle brushes off is, um, and I think we went over this in the last, um, in the last painting series like this one, is that when you brought, when you clean off a natural bristle, the water pulls out pretty easily, especially acrylic, right? But when you're using a natural bristle, those bristles are much different. So what happens is it'll stick right in the middle of the brush and give you a really, really hard time. So we always clean off the synthetic. We can leave the natural bristle. I, I usually have a lot of the natural bristle ones going. All right, so let's fog this up down here. So with that color still going, grab a little bit of white, make sure all that water's on the brush. We want a nice, clean, dry brush. And I'm just gonna pull it in, right? Maybe I'll pull it down this way. Right? See how it just kind of almost eliminates the base. What we want to do is maybe lighten these up a little bit, right? Add almost like a little bit of snow inside of there. And then we pull this one. Shh, that one cuts in front. See how it fogs up. And the beauty of acrylic paints, especially, is because of their layering effect we're able to sort of change the direction any way we want. So for example, see I could pull this one like this, now these two are in the front, or I could take it, or if I want this one to kind of live right here, maybe that's the big guy. All right, see that? All right, and we just kind of fog it up at the bottom. Really nice and foggy area at the bottom. A little bit more here, why not? And I'm just kind of going at it randomly. There's no real wrong way to do this. You see that? Make the noises. They help. They really do. A little fun fact. I do it when I'm alone by myself. I guess I'm a weirdo, but whatever. Don't judge me. Maybe this one lives in the front. I like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright. Mind the edges though, right? We want to keep those close to the edge. We don't want too many dark edges back there, right? You can kind of lay it in. Yeah, what the heck, why not? There's a little zone here, it kind of lines that way. And again, remember, take a step back. All right, I like where we're at. Now let's build, uh, let's build another one, kind of sits in the front. Again, I'm gonna clean that brush off, right? Always want to clean those synthetic brushes off. 
Makes them work a lot better when they're nice and clean. Don't mind me. I'm gonna take a little coffee break. Can I? I'm gonna look directly at you while I'm doing this. Ah, that's so good. That's so good. Let's put that out of frame. Okay, let's build another one here. Now, again, like I said, we want this one much darker. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, actually, why don't we, I like that color. Why don't we add, just take a little bit of black into that color. A little bit. Let me kind of like this. We still want it to maintain that purple hue, but we want this one to be much darker. All right, so that much darker in value, much, much darker. Okay, um, oh gosh, let's build it this way. Okay, maybe this one kind of goes like this. Oh boy, I don't know, it does now. <laughs> maybe it's, uh, it works its way this way. Here kind of cuts that way, and then maybe there's another one. Ah, <sighs> you get a little goofy when I paint. All right, it cuts. Maybe there's one like that. And it works its way that way. Sure, why not? Again, we want this one to be slightly darker. Let's pull this one into the water. All right, you see how it's nice and foggy or smoky in the background there? It right, kind of helps distinguish between what is what. We like that, we want that. All right. Again, let's clean that brush off. Get it really nice and foggy at the bottom. That's what we want. Taking my time, take your time. Again, especially if you're following along, feel free to pause it at any moment, right? The important part of painting is to really just take your time, all right? Don't rush. I go a little bit faster so I don't waste anybody's time or or I wanna, have, wanna give you the value you're looking at, right? So you need to take your time. Don't feel rushed. See how I'm just loosely putting it in. I'm not, I'm not pressing too hard here. Just lay a little bit in right here. Let's see now. Right, see, just fogging it up, laying it in. No real rhyme or reason to where it goes. Okay. Um, you know, I kind of like that when I'm going to leave it. Right? It's nice and foggy at the bottom. You know, what I think we need trees. Why not? But again, it's a winter scene, so let's make them kind of cold. Uh, I got it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my fan brush. All right, this is a pretty big fan brush. I'm gonna grab a natural bristle fan brush, you see that? All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'll just lay some trees kind of randomly in the background. Now again, we want these to be a little cold. Now with these, I kind of want them to set and be on top and look a little texture. So with this, I'm gonna use a hard body paint, right? So I'm gonna pull some white into this brush. Pull it this way, I'm gonna grab a little bit of blue, a little bit of that hard body blue just to make them nice and cold. Yeah, kind of like that, almost like an ice blue. Darken them up just slightly. Make them almost like a steel. It's almost like a gray. Oh, I, like, I like that color. That's a pretty good color. Okay, um, maybe they kind of kind of just stretch this way. So uh, just sort of tap them in a little bit here, right? This is the easy part. This is the fun part right here. See that? Alright, see how I'm just making them a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, right? like an ice color. I like that color. And a little bit more blue here. Some of them a little bit different, right? See? And there's some in the front. Alright, this is pretty simple. You can kind of just go for it here. Look at this. Some of them are a little thicker, some of them are a little thinner. 
Some of them are taller, some of them are shorter. Just kind of go for it, all right? As long as they're a little bit tight at the top, right? They're pointy, all right? And they'll kind of take care of the rest for you. Let's see that. Stretch it through. Remember that? We like that. Right? That sound? I mean, you're doing it right. I don't know. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> now, well, let's have these kind of fade away. So they kind of go a little bit lower here. Let's grab this so they get a little bit lighter. All right. Maybe they kind of just will fade away over here. Maybe the ground just kind of ends somewhere over here. I think it kind of ends somewhere over there. See, like that cuts right across. All right, um, let's put that here. We're gonna move this over. Leave that there for a second. All right, just kind of pulling it a little bit, just so it's even at the bottom. Right, see that? Using my natural bristle brush for this, just kind of pulling it in so it sort of fogs itself up at the bottom. You see that? See? Fogs up a little bit at the bottom there. Okay. Um, I got. They got to live somewhere, right? They got to be on something. So let's. Uh, oh boy, let's give them a little bit of land to live on. Okay, I got an idea. So we're going to use a knife for this one, and we're going to pull the land. We kind of want it to spread so we create a little bit of waypoint, or, or where is it going, right? So with this, I'm going to grab some of my hard-bodied white, right? kind of lay it in. And what we want to do with this is we want to sort of spread it thin, and we're going to cut across a little bit. Okay? Spread it thin, something like that. Cut across, get a nice little roll of paint. Yeah, nice little roll of paint. All right, and with here, just like with the mountains, right, we just kind of want to just maybe some snow kind of lays in here like this. Again, with this, very loose. I want to be very loose. Don't want to press too hard here. I don't want to mash it in. I right? just want this land to kind of work its way one certain way. Right? There's just some snowy land over here. It's winter after all. Coldest day of the year, by the way, since 1983 in Chicago. I don't know if you knew that. break, want it to loosen. That's what we like. Put that there. Let's pull this down slightly. All right, I'm going to grab the same brush, the same 30, the mega brush, 30, but this one's going to be natural bristle. And with this, what I want to do is just sort of pull it lightly across so it fogs up the bottom. All right, see that? Lightly pulling it so it fogs up the bottom a little bit. Then I'm going to grab just a bit of soft body blue paint with a bit of white. Just a bit. Not much. Just a bit. Grab a little bit more here. Just a bit. Pulling it down right off the edge so it creates a little bit of reflection in the water. Just a bit. Let's see that. Pull, pull it down just a bit of reflection in the water. All right. 
I'm going to go down here a little bit more. Grab a little bit of white here just so we can see it a little bit better on the darker spots. Oh, see that? Pull it down. We're in the water here. See, it just kind of works its way that way. Beautiful. All right, let's take this, soften it up at the top a little bit. You can even tap it, all right? Make it fog into the trees a little, all right? Hold your canvas if you're tapping a little harder. All right, see that? Now we got a nice little land that just kind of lives there, right into the water. Okay. <clears throat> what do we need now? This needs some. Oh, need one? I got an idea. Let's take this and let's put just a little bit of reflection right on the edge here. I'm going to take our fan brush and do this. Nothing crazy. We're just adding a little bit of reflection right at the edge just to separate the water from the land. It's very subtle. It's very, very subtle. very subtle. Nothing nuts. Nothing crazy. Okay, uh, how about we go for some trees? Why not, right? Um, all right, so with these trees, we can kind of silhouette these, right? These could be just pure silhouettes. So let's just go for some black, right? And we're going to use our two-inch brush. We want to cover a lot of space. These are going to be really close here. All right, but here's what we need to do. We need to take that brush Push that paint into both sides, right? See that? Push that paint into both sides. Making it nice and sharp. And then, um, I don't know. With these, we gotta really kind of push it in, right? See that? It kind of works its way this way a little bit, right? See that? It kind of lives off the side there. Well, maybe it works its way this way a little. Let's pull this here. See that? Works its way this way, moves off of here. And it kind of cuts down that way. Alright, right, looks like this. Sure, why not, right? And then, you know, it kind of lives. There's some land over here that it lives on. Some bushes or something. I right, see I'm just kind of going random. Nothing crazy. We'll fill this area in here. Fill it in right here. Yeah, see that? Alright. Let's put another guy over here. Um, this one's a, let's make this one a little bit taller. This one lives way off the top. Big, big one, big sucker right there. Comes out a little bit. I'm not sure why not. All right, sort of separates this way. So that way. Great. You know what we need though? We need for this to be a little snow. We need a lot of snow here. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so we used our two inch. Let's grab our one inch and let's put some snow in here. Now with this, like I said before, we want to grab a little bit more hard body paint here just because, remember I said, hard body, it's always gonna stick to the soft body. So let's pull a little bit of that in there. We can even grab a little bit of blue with it. A little bit of that hard body into the brush. Okay. I don't want too much. Pull a little off, right? Nice and thin, gets it really nice and sharp. See that? Really nice and sharp. Okay, <clears throat> now with this, we just sort of want to lay it in, right? Let it kind of just live in there somewhere, right? You can even use the corners of the brush, right? It's just snow. It's just snow kind of laying in there. We do not want to brush, we just want to tap. Right. Well, the bristles fray, you can even let them fray a little bit sometimes too, I guess. All right, see that? Maybe it lives this way. And let the, 
let the black underneath kind of do a little bit of the work too. All right, maybe there's some land that kind of lives like this. I don't know, a little, little pathway or something. I don't know, play around with it a little bit. There's some bushes up here. All right, see how we let that kind of fray a little bit? It creates that nice bush effect. Oh, we like that. All right, see all that snowy effect area? It's cold out today. Let's make it worth it here. Into somewhere, I don't know where it's going. We don't know, right? We're not we're not asking questions. We're just painting today. It's on its own little path. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. So let's get a little bit here. A little snow on the edge there, see that? Alright, let that black poke through a little bit. Sometimes we fray the bristles up a little. It just kind of sits in this way. This one's much closer to us, so you can see a lot more of the snow. See that? Oh, I like that. Oh, you know what we need? We need just a very little bit. Let's make some twigs. Right? You could do this in a bunch of ways. One, you could sort of, the absence of color, you could kind of scrape them in. All right, maybe there's some over here. Maybe there's a couple that live down here somewhere. Pull that back that way. Well, they just kind of live off that way. Maybe there's some over here. Right. Or, you can draw them in right, by using our, let's use, let's go a little bit of white here. Using our liner brush, right? You could take it and maybe they kind of. There's some that just live off of here, right? They're very cold. There's the cup spread through. We'll use a bit of a thinner one. Even if you do it so you, it might be a little bit easier to see if I do it this way. Add a little bit of black to get gray, right? You see that? Some that just kind of live off this way a little bit. I like that. You know what? I'm not gonna touch it. I think we're done. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. I like it. It's cool, it's cold. It's got some clouds, it's some mountains. I like it. Well, you know what? With that, let's give it a little bit of a sign here. Let's say, you know what? I like this red. We're gonna use this red. We just won't even have to clean the liner brush off. Grab a little bit of that red. Remember, sign it wherever you want, however you want, any color, any brush, doesn't matter. Most popular, though, was, you know, where I like to sign it. Bottom right, with my smallest or my liner brush. All right. And with that, we are done. Again, thank you for sharing a few minutes of your day with me. If you're, again, where I am, please stay warm. It's going to warm up soon, but it is cold out there. Otherwise... Thanks a lot for coming, and I hope you have a good day.